I'm back. Hey guys, let's have standing by back for another video finally. And today we are doing one of my favorite things to do. Building a Lego set. It is the Han Solo's Land Speeder from Solo. It was in the movie briefly, and before you ask, I might review Solo and make a new series called Late Reviews. Movies that everybody's already reviewed, but I'm just too lazy to review them, so I just review them late. So yeah. This is cool, it comes with Kira, Han, Corelli, and Hound, Hounds. And before you ask, I just took a break from YouTube. I, I just didn't want to do it for that time. Like, I was too lazy. So, yeah. Get ready. Let's get building. building it this looks like a car it looks like a 1960s car i forgot the name it looks like a ford or something so yeah we have kira she has this a new haircut i think and like standard blaster and stuff and two side of faces and you've probably already seen the movie so i'm gonna spoil it right now you're evil your friends with Mom. We have Solo. I'm Solo. I'm on Solo. I'm on Solo. Solo. He has like his winter outfit on. This this is right after they escaped from whatever her name was, the warm lady. He also has a blaster, and in the middle it looks like an actual like car thing, but instead of a wheel, they have like these handlebars. I forgot what they're called. Like, you just sit her down there. I was kind of surprised this wasn't, like, a getaway car after a big heist. But this is still a really cool set. So, that's okay. Right here, we have a Corellian Hound. And what this looks like to me... I don't know if you remember the show called Ben 10. Like, the original one. This looks like the white version of the orange, like, dog thing. Only minus the eyes. Like, look up the orange dog thing from Ben 10. And this looks almost exactly like it. But, you know, about the same size as a little doggy. And these things have a terrifying face. But they're still really cool. For the actual set itself, it's very sturdy. It was very sturdy. And the top comes off to, like, add, or, like, hide stuff in, like, the second wrench, a gun, magnifying glass, you know, the usual stuff you'll have in the trunk of your car. And this part pops off so you can have easy access to it. So I could just get the thing away. There we go. Oh yeah, I should get this off. This entire thing, it just pops off. And as you can see, it's a really cool thing. It's like an engine. And right here we have like the fuel for the engine. That's really cool. And here we have like this white stripe on it. And so what I'm guessing happened, I think Jane Brooks also said this. Is that this entire thing was like not casual what's it called again um symmetrical yeah I, this entire thing was symmetrical but then after a few years it started like welting away and a bunch of parts of it started breaking off in the back right here you know what you can get 
I get some good old co coaxium. That's what it is in the movie. It took me a, f a few seconds to figure that out, but when I did, I was like, oh, that's what all this stuff was. And these fire, I'm not gonna fire because they don't want to have another hole in my wall. Wait, oh, no, never mind. This also has wheels on the bottom that go round and round. Round and round. Wheels on the I'm sorry. And that's your car thing right here. It looks fairly realistic to a real car. We got like the engine, not the engine, the joystick for like PRD, V, or whatever it is. All like the buns and stuff in first, EAC and whatnot. I know, I don't know what this is, but I'm calling it the AC or the radio. They also have a little back area to put guns and stuff. I don't know where to put mine, so I'm just gonna put a magnifying glass. I don't know what this is. Like, it's very realistic to a real car, and yet it looks so futuristic. Or pastoristic. I don't know. Star Wars is weird. So, yeah, this is a great set. Beautiful, beautiful build. I don't remember the name of it. So, yeah, like, comment, subscribe. I don't know what I, if I'm even making a video tomorrow. Like, comment, subscribe. Bye.